All right, what is going on, everybody? Today, I want to do a quick Cliff Notes version style recap on the balance patch that Korea got today. Now, I'm going to cater to my Korean audience and my English audience. So I'll flip through each one to see the translation and the original version. So let's get started with Destroyer. Destroyer got buffed. So there was a damage increase. There was a crit rate increase per core and a crit damage increase per core for Rage Hammer. This is the English version. Gravity training is untouched. Next, Gun Lancer. So in Korea, they call it Warlord. The Warlord or Gun Lancer got buffed. Damage increase for Low Knight. Combat readiness is unchanged. Paladin or Holy Knight got buffed. They got an increase in faith gauge from punishment skills. So now it's not that, you know, punishment skills hits increases by 100%. Instead, the punishment skills themselves have increased by 100%. They also have reduced cooldown for Holy Explosion and new attack speed buff for party members. So now it's not only bards that are doing it. Now we got paladins doing it as well. All right, next up is Slayer. The Slayer got buffed. Increased damage for both Punisher and Predator. Right here. Next, Wardancer or Battlemaster got nerfed. Decreased damage on Arc Passive or SO Wardancer. First intention is unchanged. Next up, we got Soulfist. So they got buffed ish. So they got an increased damage for Robust Spirit Arc Passive, right here. And, but, they got an Arc Passive level change for CDR when turning off Hype. At maximum level 5, it remains the same. But now there's different stuff for each level, instead of just a flat rate, right here. Instead of 50%, now it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Next, oh, sorry, Energy Overflow unchanged. Next up, we got Glavier. Don't know why it's translated as Windsor, but Glavier is buffed. Increased stagger for all, increased damage for control, right here, and increased crit damage for Pinnacle. All right here. Next up, we got Striker. Striker got buffed. Decrease in the Damage reduction, damage reduction, not reduction, damage reduction by 8%. And this basically means an increased damage for death blow. It can seem confusing at first, I know. Esoteric flurry is unchanged. Breaker. Breaker is mixed. Decreased damage for Brawl King Storm, these ones, but an increased attack speed for Asura. Next up, we got Deadeye. So Deadeye got buffed. Increased crit damage and skill damage for enhanced weapon. Pistolier is unchanged. Next up, we got Artillerist. Artillerist is mixed. Decreased damage for barrage and increased damage for firepower. Next up, we have Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is also mixed. So increased damage on Hawk and Arc Passive for Loyal Companion. Decreased damage on Death Strike and their Arc Passive. Next is Gunslinger. Gunslinger got buffed. Increased crit damage and damage on Arc Passives for Time to Hunt. Peacemaker is unchanged. Next up we have Arcana. Arcana got nerfed. Decreased damage for both Empress and Emperor. RIP everyone, Sag. Next up, we have Summoner. Summoner is mixed. We have increased damage for Communication Overflow and decreased damage for Master Summoner. Next up, we have Sorceress. Sorceress is nerfed. Decreased damage and yikes, this class got a lot of nerfs on most of the important skills and on the arc passive. Show it right here as well. Here, they got spec changes, 
nerfs, 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 and arc passive nerf. Next up, we have Deathblade. Deathblade got buffed. Increased damage on arc passives for both surge and remaining energy. So it's a win for all. Next, we have Shadowhunter or Demonic. Shadowhunter got nerfed. Decreased damage on arc passive for perfect suppression. Where's the demonic buff though? Am I right? Next up, we have Reaper. Reaper was buffed. Increased damage on both Hunger and Lunar. Here's the Reaper one. Next up, we have Soul Eater. Soul Eater is mixed. Decreased damage in Deathlord mode for Full Moon and increased damage for Knight's Edge. And finally, we have Aeromancer. Aeromancer got buffed. Increased critical damage on Arc Passive for Wind Fury. Drizzle was unchanged. And that's it for the balance patch. I hope this was a quick and easy way for you all to understand everything without having to do all your translations yourself and misunderstanding something. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos in the comment section below. Goodbye, everyone. Ooh, and I also forgot something. So for my pineapple gang who stick by me for all duration of the video, hello, I want to share with you this arc passive site from Inven. And it is really helpful because it will show you every single arc passive for every single class. So for example, if we press on Gunlancer or Warlord in this case, we can see all the arc passives available. You can hover over them too to see, you know, critical hit rate of land skills increases by 10%. This is very helpful for after you watch this video and you're still wondering, hmm, what's the more detailed view of it? Because I only gave the cliff notes of it. Well, here's the website for you. So make sure you go to this website and check for yourself for your class and see, you know, all the different kinds of arc passives that look like you're in the game, right? With this wonderful UI that it gives. Um, so for example, for Shadowhunter, right? People would probably think, oh wait, Shadowhunter just got nerfed in general, right? Because it doesn't really show you much. But in that case, it only said that the arc passive weapon training was nerfed. So this is demonic and this is perfect suppression. There is no other weapon training. This is chaos training. And so all of this stuff were untouched. While for perfect suppression, weapon training was in fact nerfed. So I guess they thought perfect suppression was too strong. So this is a very helpful tip for you to be able to identify which class specifically is being targeted. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And now I will leave. Goodbye, everyone.